Ticks are a pesky and potentially dangerous problem for many people, particularly those who love to spend time outdoors. In North America, two of the most common types of ticks are deer ticks and wood ticks. While they may look similar at first glance, there are some key differences between the two that are important to understand. Deer ticks are also known as black-legged ticks and are much smaller than wood ticks, measuring only about the size of a poppy seed. They are known to transmit Lyme disease, which can cause various symptoms, including fever, fatigue, and a distinctive bullseye rash. While not all deer ticks carry Lyme disease, it's important to take precautions in an area where they are prevalent. Some of the best ways to protect yourself include wearing long sleeve shirts and pants, using insect repellent, and checking your body for ticks regularly. Wood ticks, also known as dog ticks, are much larger, measuring about the size of a pencil eraser when fully engorged. While they are not known for transmitting Lyme disease, they can transmit other diseases such as Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Wood ticks are often found in wooded areas or areas with tall grass and can be particularly active during the spring and summer. If you find a wood tick on your body, it's important to remove it as soon as possible using a pair of tweezers, grasping the tick as close to the skin as possible, and pulling straight up. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference between deer ticks and wood ticks is by looking at their coloring. Deer ticks are usually dark brown or black in color, while wood ticks are typically brown with white or gray markings. Another way to differentiate between the two is by their behavior. Deer ticks are much more likely to attach themselves to human than wood ticks, and they are also more likely to transmit Lyme disease. These are the ones you want to watch out for. Wood ticks, on the other hand, tend to attach themselves to animals such as dogs and can often be found around their ears or neck. Regardless of the type of tick you may encounter, it's important to protect yourself from them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when we post another video. Thanks.